Oh, I'm gonna have more of those creepy dreams. Let's not tell Bastler about this one. She might think it's a bit weird. Oh, it's not about her. Phew. That was almost awkward. Oh, hey. That's Malik. And that would be Revan, I would imagine. Looks very brooding. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. <laughs> the power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The order will surely banish us. The point of no the return. The star forge so valuable. Can its power truly be worth the risk? The Star Forge, you say? What might that be? And what's that you're looking at? Ooh. Now that is interesting. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Okay, um, did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? A rough night. You got you know, it. Bad dreams. So we can bring two people, but we'll just bring Karth. Yes, I know, but I'm not going to be doing any fighting. What? And Karth has a new level, so we'll... Ooh, he's got attribute points. Have more strength. Strength is good. And, no, that's not what I want to do, I want to click this. And feats, you can now be the most proficient at two-handed fighting ever. Oh, look at those, look at those modifiers. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. What? 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 Alright, let's go. So we'll go talk to the council. See what they have to say, and perhaps Bastler will tell us something about the dream we experienced. Hello, Jedi. Hey, you're still in the courtyard. Is this like a special courtyard? Is that why you're here all the time? Are you really a Jedi? Ah, they're already waiting. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. I believe so, These yes. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps there are more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Hmm. So you can say, yes, they seem to be searching for something. I don't want to talk about it. Or you could basically just go, I don't know what this crazy woman is talking about. But we'll just go with the first one. Bastila they looked, has described be looking for the something. shared dream to the council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. Interesting. So I'm having visions? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. Oh, hell no. Really I'm not calling her master. So quickly. No. Whatever dangers may lie ahead. We cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. So that means we get to be a Jedi, right? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Ah, well, teamwork! Well, your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. Dude, the way of you the light are way is more difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I think so. I am ready. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. That's the not Sith good. Hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers and wherever they are found. Political we fear it is only a matter of time. Until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi How is it hidden? Malak knows about it. Embrace the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. 
Okay, okay, I get it. He's a bad guy. So they're turning to the dark side, huh? The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. Well, when you're conquering if places not and stopped, winning... The Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council Intriguing. has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps okay. there you will find some clue. Some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I am ready. I accept this mission. Um, so, I don't know if I want to do this. It sounds dangerous. I'm ready. I the accept. The force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before you we panic send you too to much. investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi. So that you can resist the darkness within yourself. Within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Well, that is fair enough. As you wish, Master. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path Debbie you Downer. have chosen to walk is difficult. Training montage! Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. I like it. To truly understand the way of the Jedi. You must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. I'm still not calling her master. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. I'm getting better at the sword even fighting though thing. you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. We're talented. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. So that's interesting right there, Soon because apprenticeship will end, if we're so powerful, granted the title of how come we weren't a Jedi already? The lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Okay. What must I do? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your you place You must complete these the quests Jedi. three! All right, I am ready for these tests. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. Okay. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. I you must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Okay. So now, we have begun to learn. We have, we have. I, we could level up now, but if we do, we miss out on the important thing that I've been saving those levels for. So, we will instead go to the training computer. And we will go... No, that's not what I wanted. I guess perhaps I received it. In the, uh, in the data pad he gave me? Did he give me a data pad? I think he did. Data pad. Oh, that's Kayla Nord's data pad. I guess maybe he didn't. Well, it's okay. We can guess. So we'll quick save here because I like quick saves. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. We'll wing Are the you test. here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? I am. I am ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions okay. and customs of our order. We can do this. As handed down from Master. Ah, yes, Cuba. yes. The quest three. I am ready for the test. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given. 
both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join okay. in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I, like I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. Yes, Master. You must now prove yes. you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. So he'll begin the, uh, the, um, the platitudes, and you basically just have to complete them. They're, they're not overly difficult. So there is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. They're generally opposites. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is... Harmony. There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies Aha! well, Apprentice. Nailed it! It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order. The lightsaber. This the weapon lightsaber is your life. The lightsaber is a traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The cool. blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Oh yes. So we got some more XP points, and now we get to go talk to the uh, the whole. Uh, what was he called? He has a title. Uh, he's the Keeper of the Archives, or something like that. Master of Knowledge, Dorak. Hey. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He yes. sees great promise in you, as do I. The Finally, time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Oh. Um. Okay, well, what colors are they? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Okay, so uh, roughly these... Uh... These are the main types of Jedi. So, a Jedi Guardian is someone kind of like... Who's a good example from the movies? Anakin Skywalker, there you go. Very combat-focused, very uh, very good with the blade, but not so great on some of the other stuff. A Jedi Sentinel would be someone, I guess, kind of like Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan, yeah? Yeah, sort of. He's uh, he's very much about justice, but he's no slouch in combat. He can he can do the he can fight, and a Jedi Consular would be someone like Qui Gon Jinn. Believes in the Force being you know the the main thing that you should be paying attention to, use your powers for good and to bring peace and justice, etc. etc. So we want to be like Qui Gon Jinn. We want to be a Jedi Consular. Indeed, we shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. You can a still pick at the end. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, we help them flee, we attack the thugs, or we stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. So we will help her flee. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in <laughs> combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? We attack him again. We find out why he turned to the dark side and tried to turn him, or try to see a weakness in his technique. The weakness! Yes, I suspected as much. Bullshit! Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Aha! I know the answer to this. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. <laughs> I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, 
The final question. The final test. We're the test. head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Well, we could hunt them down, we could try to lure them out into a trap, or coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. Lure them into a trap, obviously. Yes, I thought as much. Bullshit. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which no. color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Consular! Green. Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on how to construct it. Hell yeah. Journal entry. So now we get a free level up. This is why I waited. You get a free level up when you become a Jedi, and you will get... Uh, the immediate level up now so you can pick at least one power so because we are a Jedi consular and we saved a few levels we should get to level 8 if I remember correctly so we have some skills we have two points so we'll put uh, one to persuade and the other into so actually before we do that Alright, so security and stealth are the only cross-class skills we have left. Everything else is a class skill for us. Very nice. Um, we'll put one point into repair. We'll basically just level up all of those things together. Ah, there we go. So we've been granted the following feats. We get weapon proficiency lightsaber, so we can actually fight. Jedi defense, force focus, Jedi sense, force sensitive. We'll look at each of those in turn. So, force sensitive is unique to us. So we get some force points to start us off. Uh, Jedi Sense is the one that uh, we already looked at. Bastler has this. And Force Focus. There we go. So you have to be a Jedi Consular. You gain plus one to the difficulty class for all saving throws against their force powers. Aha! Well, that is very useful. That is very, very useful indeed. So our powers are basically our life in this case. Uh, we are very, very good at casting these powers. So first things first, we have one feat to take. Improved dueling versus weapon focus lightsaber. Lightsaber. We'll definitely take that. And powers. We get to take a lot of powers because we are a consular. So first things first, we want cure and we definitely want forced lightning. Hell yeah. Nice. So we'll do the rest of our leveling now. If I click auto level up, I don't think it'll actually do it, but I, just in case, we're going to quick save. <laughs> and then how many levels do we have? Okay, so we've got three more levels to go. Some skills, uh, one into awareness, one into treat injury, powers, we get one. What do we need to get this? Okay, level 12. Makes sense. Throw lightsaber. I've never really found that to be particularly helpful, but we're going to have a lot of powers, so I might take it just to show you guys some of the fun stuff. We do want this, though. Jedi mind tricks. You can literally do Jedi mind tricks, and they're a lot of fun, so we'll level that up. And tributes. We'll put our point into dexterity, of course. And skills. We will put our points into... Treat Injury and Repair. Two very important skills. And we get another feat, so we will take... Ah, we could take Implants, but let's not. Instead, we will focus on making sure that we can actually fight with our blade, because that will be very important. We'll take Improved Dueling. Yes, please. And we get one more power right now. I think we'll go with... Hmm, Dominating Mind is actually kind of good. Yeah, let's go with Dominating Mind. It makes sense. We're a Jedi. Let's roleplay it a little bit. And we will put both our points into these two. We should be okay with those at being at 8 for now. We can always put them up later. And we have another Force Power to take. And Lightning, clearly. Except. Awesome! So we are now a Jedi. We are level 9, we are a level 4 consular and a level 5 scout, so that's a nice mix of skills and abilities. We have a fair bit of strength, a fair bit of dexterity. Constitution's a little weak, intelligence, yeah, it could be better. Wisdom and charisma, they could be better. But as a, uh, as a Jedi consular, I knew that I wouldn't have to worry too much about these because we do get 
bonuses to our force powers simply for being a Jedi Consul. So we've got a bit of a bonus. We can afford to skimp out on these two things, but charisma is very important for persuasion as well. All right, so now we have no weapon equipped. We could use one of the... Uh, actually, before we do anything else, we want to put our clothing back on because armor restricts how many abilities you can use in regards to the Force. Robes do not uh, stop you from using powers, but we don't have any right now. So we will go around in our regular scout gear. But first things first, we have to go get our lightsaber. Master, Master Jar. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Yes, please. Look, Karth, I got a cool blade. I got a cool sword. It's a very cool sword. I just want to make that clear. Coolest sword around. So we can't actually do anything apart from just click assemble on this one because we don't have any crystals yet. I believe that there's a couple of mods that do give you some crystals when you get to this point to start off with, but we don't have any, so we'll just go with assemble. Items received, now items lost, but that's okay because now we have a lightsaber. Hell yeah! You twirl that lightsaber. Yes. We are a <laughs> Oh, game. I do love you. You are so good. Alright, Ja, I did it. You have it. done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. What can I it say? It's rare I'm indeed talented. for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. We will be By going to crystals those. to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Awesome. So should I know anything else about lightsabers? Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect. And With great power comes great responsibility. Enemies. The Sith Thanks, and Uncle Dark ben. Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are okay. you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I guess, yeah. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. That sounds Even dangerous. here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. That's not the good. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. I see. But what would you have me do? The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. I see. That I must face the beast. Task. Do you have no other guidance? I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. Okay. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. Hmm. The dark side I get the still sense he's trying the to help. Grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. Cool. So we gained some experience points. So we passed the first two tests with flying colors. The first test we winged like a champ, and the second test wasn't actually a test so much. More of a do you do you want to be a sword slinger? Do you want to be a spellcaster? Or do you want to be a guy who's kind of good at both but not really fantastic at either? So you know, that's a thing. So I think because we have been playing for a fair while, I'm going to end the session here. And next time we will complete the third and final test. Yes, we will. With me, Grey Hunter, and Carl Agathon, Hero of the Galaxy. Shwum. Shwum.